St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought of St. Francis de Sales for October 18th. The present life is strewn with sorrowful moments, but during such moments we can increase our acts of precious union with the will of God. Such times afford the opportunity of mortifying our self-love, loving our objection, and indeed our own crucifixion. How else can we prove our love? if not by accepting these bitter and sorrowful happenings. How often have I referred to the stripping of ourselves to be reclothed with, with Jesus Christ crucified. Then and only then will God dwell in our hearts. From the Life of St. Francis de Sales On October 18, 1598, Francis de Sales obtained from Duke Charles Emmanuel the favor of a safe conduct from de Brati, Jolly, Desprez, three of the most adamant Protestants of the Chablais, who were fleeing to Bern to escape the anger of the prince. Since they were the very ones who had constantly opposed and insulted the apostle, they were very surprised by his heroic charity and goodness and immediately went to thank him. On this visit, they showed him the treatise composed by the Calvinist Biza on the book of Joshua. On opening, the saint immediately discovered the assertion of the author that Calvin merited, after God, the glory of having been the first to establish the Lord's Supper. The saint was impelled by that to give them, right then and there, an excellent summary of Catholic truth. The three gentlemen took their leave and went to see the minister La Fay, a great friend of Biza, to advise him of what had occurred. The minister confessed that on that point the author was wrong, that the saint was right to reprove him for it, and that in all truth one could be eternally saved in the Roman Church. This declaration moved the hearts of these gentlemen so deeply that they returned to see Francis. With strong arguments, the saint succeeded in convincing them that there is no integral truth outside the Church of God, that is, the Catholic and Apostolic Church of Rome. Many questions and answers followed. The grace of the Lord worked so powerfully in the hearts of these three fortunate men that they were converted and abjured their heresy in the presence of the saint. Francis then presented them to the Duke of Savoy, who received them with fatherly kindness. They persevered in their faith, and together with their respective families became examples of piety and Christian living.